Once Lord Buddha went to the place of his farmer devotee in a village. In the evening the farmer organized his discourse. All the people of the village were present to hear the discourse of Buddha, but that devotee was nowhere to be seen. There was a whisper among the people of the village that what a devotee is that he himself disappeared after organizing the discourse. After the discourse was over everyone went home. The farmer returned home in the night. Buddha asked, "Where had you gone?" Everyone in the village was asking about you. The farmer said, "Actually all the arrangements for the discourse were done, but then suddenly my bull got sick. At first I tried to cure him with home remedies, but when his condition started getting worse, I had to take him to the vet. If he had not taken him to the doctor, he would not have survived." I will listen to your discourse later also. The next morning when the villagers again came to the Buddha, they complained about the farmer and said, "He pretends to be your devotee. By organizing the discourse, it disappears by itself." Buddha narrated the whole incident to him and then explained, "He gave importance to action instead of listening to the discourse and proved that he understood my teachings perfectly. He no longer needs my discourse. I explain here only that think with your discretion and intellect that which work needs to be done first. If the farmer had preferred to listen to my discourses, leaving the sick bull, then the bull would have died without medicine. After that my discourse would have been in vain. Moral of the story, the essence of the discourse is here that sacrificing everything and protecting the living being.